Hey everyone, Tech Steve here. And if you have a smart television like this Samsung, you probably already know that you can do screen mirroring from a smartphone like this Android or even an iPhone. And this allows you to take whatever's on your screen and send it wirelessly over to that television. However, this does not work on monitors or projectors. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the O-Ray WUHD Pro. And with this adapter, you can take your iPhone, Android, your PC, or Mac and broadcast the video signal over to this and display it on your monitor. And the great thing is that it will support up to 4K. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know, plus I'm gonna show you some different configurations that may work for you. And before we get started, I wanna give a special thanks to O-Ray for sponsoring this video. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So here's a list of the features and it will support up to 4K resolution with HDR support. It works off Wi-Fi, so you will need 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz and you have a maximum range of hundred feet. So here's everything that you get in the box. You get the instruction guide, a USB-C cable with no power brick and you get the wireless receiver. And you can simply use your computer to power it up. Or you can use a power brick like the one from the iPhone. On the front of the WHD Pro, you're gonna find an indicator that shows the different connections. And on the side of it, you're gonna find a HDMI output that would go over to your monitor as well as a USB-C input. And there's a audio output on the other side. To get it all set up is very easy, but you will need an HDMI cable. And I do have some speakers here that I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how everything gets hooked up and running. For this demo, we're gonna be using this 4K LG monitor and I'm gonna just plug in the HDMI cable right there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in the speakers here on the 3.5 jack on the side. And then next, I'm gonna plug in the other side of the HDMI cable from the monitor right here. And last thing we need to do is just go ahead and plug it in. Now a few things you'll notice with it plugged in is that it asks for a Wi-Fi connection right there and I'll show you guys that in a minute. And you're gonna see this ring on the front that represents different colors depending on what you're trying to do. If the light is solid red, it means that it's powered on. If it blinks red, that it's in standby mode and ready. If it's a solid blue, it's connected and projecting the signal. And if it's flashing blue, it's paused or you just stopped mirroring. To set it up, it's fairly easy and you only have to do it one time and once it's connected to your Wi-Fi, you can then send any device you want over to it. So you can use a smart device, you also can use a PC or you can use a Apple computer. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing you're gonna need is this Wi-Fi code as well as the password. And this shows you if it's connected to a device. So right now you see the X's, so it's not connected. Let's go ahead and get this all ready to go. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it. And I'm using an Apple computer, but you can use a PC or a smart device. The first thing you wanna do is open up your Wi-Fi connection and you wanna look for the one that's on the screen. So this is the one that I found. I can then click on it and it should prompt me to put in a password. Once you enter the IP address, you'll see a list of all the Wi-Fi's and you wanna go ahead and enter the password for your particular Wi-Fi. Once you enter that password, it's gonna set it up on the Wi-Fi so it'll be permanently part of your system. Once it says connected, hit okay. And then we can start looking at all the options you have. So the first thing you would do is hit this arrow back and then you can start seeing all the settings of your device. So here at the top, you have your internet section. If you click on this button, you can change the resolution that it can accept. So for example, if your monitor is only capable of doing 1080p, you don't wanna have it on 4K because it might not be able to do it. And then here's some other settings for RGB. You can also turn on HDCP and that's a copyright protection. You can change the password as well as the name of the unit. And there's a few other settings down here, like you can even turn on wallpaper if you don't wanna see that boring screen that's on it. At the bottom, you can do power saving options, upgrade it, reboot, or factory reset it. And this is what it looks like with the wallpaper and the password and everything's up here so you can always access it. With everything all set up and ready to go, now I'm gonna show you how to use the AirPlay on the iPhone. The first thing you wanna do is just slide down the screen and hit the mirroring button. And it found all my different devices, but there it is right there. Let's go and connect to it. And to test this out, I pulled up my Storyblocks account and let's see if it works. So look at the volume right there. And if you turn it sideways.
It will work on most Android devices, but you need to make sure that it supports screen sharing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it on a Samsung device using Smart View. If you slide your screen down one time, you'll get this option, but if you do it a second time, you get all these additional options. So on Samsung device, we're gonna look for Smart View, and then it'll scan for all the devices that are compatible. So there we have it right there. I can click on it. And once it's connected, you can do the same thing as I showed you on the iPhone. A lot of people don't know this, but you can take a laptop and using the software, you can send the signal wirelessly over to a device like we're using today. So let me show you guys how to get it all up and running. On a PC, you wanna to go to your search and type in project. Next, you wanna go down to where it says connect a wireless display and hit connect. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan for wireless devices. Over here, I found the wireless receiver. I'll go and press on it and it's connecting. And if you look at the screen, it is wirelessly connected to this laptop. The last connection I'm gonna show you guys how to use is with a Apple computer. So it works with MacBooks, as well as the iMac, the Studio that just came out, as well as the Pro Series. So let me show you how to connect it using Apple AirPlay. On any of your Apple computers, make sure that you have it connected to Wi-Fi. Go up here to the corner and then click on System Preferences. Down here, you're gonna see Displays, and you'll see a list of different devices. All you wanna do is go ahead and press on the receiver, and then you can see both devices. Now over here, you can choose the colors. And if you're worried about lag, it's not perfect, but it does a good job. The last thing that I do wanna mention is that this wireless receiver is not meant for gaming consoles or anything that does not transmit wirelessly. So anything that you can output a screen mirroring capabilities, it should pick up fine. So with that being said, if you have a projector up on the wall, if you have a display or a monitor like this, and you're looking to send your phone or computer over to it wirelessly, I think it'll work great for you. I'm Tech Steve. I wanna give a special thanks to O-Ray for letting me check out this product. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Tech Steve.